Hello everyone, I am IA Roadkill and we are playing Farming Simulator 19. We are homesteading Grizzly Mountain with hard economy and no loans. We are playing on the PlayStation 4 and this is episode 23. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, please. Alrighty, let's see. Last episode we were learning how to run the new Holland wheel loader and uh, the field popped crops are ready and I'll do anything to get out of learning a new machine so we're gonna go get the harvester I really like this little rostel mash And we have to figure out, uh, not figure out, but finally get an answer on the barley wheat question. So I have to remember, and maybe I'll do it right now so I don't forget, on uh, enable straw swath. There we go. Whoops, I don't want to start the worker right now. All right. Yeah, we're, we're doing a test to see if we get more straw with wheat or with, yeah, more, more straw with wheat or barley. Had a little lapse there. Yeah, one of these days we're going to have this whole section clean. And then we can buy that lot right there and that won't take very long to clean out at all and we'll have a big field in there except for there's a big rock right in the center I was snooping over there all right and I am gonna have a worker do this so I don't screw it up so hopefully we're ready to go Oh good. I'm always worried that straw swath is not going to work. Boy, that's a small, skimpy little line. I don't remember what my wheat one looked like. And where is he going to quit? He's going to quit right about there. Oh, is he going to go to the end? Oh, and we get to try and fix. What are you doing? Oh, you're backing up to get around whatever that obstacle is. I remember. Yeah, after we get this harvested, we're going to try and use the wood grinder and see if we can't make that whatever it is disappear that's in the ground. I know the old stump grinder that fits on the PTO that just has one head, one gear. Um, that one penetrates the ground. Might be able to use that one too. Rather than the uh, treks in this uh, red one that I got underneath the tree over there. Alright, he's going to be going to town. What do I need to do? I need to... Uh, I don't know. I haven't checked on the piggies lately. Hey, piggy, 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 piggy. How's the sheepies? Must not be too dirty. They're 98%. 54 of them. 49. We're getting there. Almost 50. 3 hours and 15 minutes. 94% because we have no potatoes or sugar beets. I may have to make a little sugar beet 
field. I have no problem with that. I don't mind a little bit of sugar beet. I suppose I could let this guy work and I could work on the wheel loader. Eh, maybe not. Somebody has to babysit him. Just like that. are almost full. 75%? Not quite. So he won't fill up on this pass. It will take him a little smidge more so the pipe will be out when he gets full. That's my plan and I'm sticking to it. Well, for a second I thought he took off with the thing up in the air. Which I guess wouldn't matter, because he doesn't destroy crops anyway. Only I destroy crops. That's just the kind of guy I am. Every time I look at those ugly trees, I just want to go get that Trex. wonder how much that costs. I was going to lease it, but maybe I'll just buy it. We're going to look. Um, that's a drivable unit, right? Drivable, drivable. There it is. 190,000. Only seven slots. This machinery cuts tree stumps and makes trees disappear. It doesn't say that. I made that up. There's that Massey that I like. Too bad the blade doesn't go to the bottom. But, maybe I'll get that anyway to line up the logs. Hmm. I might have to do that. That one's got a blade, but it's way too narrow. Yeah. What are you doing? Oh, you're full. <laughs> I knew you were going to get full. Turn those off. Um, why are you... I dismissed you. How come you came back? There we go. All right. Sorry, I was having a, I was having a little hissy fit there. time I said why don't I just dump this straight into the pig trough I don't need to put it into the wagon it's just a short little drive over there do not poop on the drive put your straw someplace I can't get it I think we have enough room, don't we? Oh yeah, wheat barley. 13,000 only takes that little chunk, and I've got four. Yeah, we got plenty of room.
Those sheep are never ending cleaning jobs. Holy cow. Still dirty. How much we got? Three. And we're going to get straw none too late. The pigs are getting low on straw. Alright, there we go. Oh, did I just turn off the swath? Oh my goodness. Oh, help windows on. No, I did absolutely nothing. Alright, let's get rid of that. And it's in the yellow already. And it's full. Okay, he should be all right then. He's past that bad spot. All right, let's give a try. Is there anything right in the center? There isn't. I guess if I get it down like that, there is, but then the tines are going to stick out and hit something. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. Alright, now, do I dare try that with my head going downhill? I don't think so. I think the rule of thumb is if you want to scoop something, you got to scoop uphill, not downhill. And this dead thing is going to upset me to no end. We'll just push that. Well, I missed. Really, I can't handle this articulated tractor. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm hitting that tree stump. Never mind. All right, let's see. I want to raise it up. Open it up. And I think that was the... Opinion that I read in the comments. All right, that's oh, well, that's all the farther down it goes. That's gonna scoop towards me. Well, there we go. That worked.
Just not happy. All that. I knew that log was going to get in my way. Got to get all the way up. Go forward. It could have been a little bit more to the front, but that's good enough. And sure, now you're going to close. don't know how to straighten them up. There's always the ram it with the tractor method. Boy, this thing is touchy. Well, I don't know why that one's hell-bent on being at an angle, but so be it. Oh, you know what? I missed him being full. I was having so much fun. But we didn't do too bad. I just need to keep working on it. Now, is there crops in front of me? Yes, there is. Don't run over them. It's a learning curve. If I think back, I probably wasn't real good using the bag lifter when I started using that. I just got better gradually over time. I can kind of make it sing. Happy piggies. Listen to them grunt and squeal. All right. So full is probably 50,000 maybe? I'll bet it's 49,000 because I have 49 pigs. Oh, betcha. I bet it's 1,000 per piggy. Whoop, we're done. Stop daydreaming and pay attention, roadkill. You might be asking yourself, why do I keep driving this goofy path instead of driving on the road? I do that in case the straw comes out. 
Sometimes a straw comes out when you're driving. Like a piece was stuck and then it clears itself. I don't want it to be on the road where I can't get it. Oh, like that. I noticed that the sheeps needed cleaning so I better go do that and the pigs aren't as bad but they need a little cleaning gotta keep the percentage up if I want them to populate Came around the corner and saw him in the road, and I'm like, who the heck is that? I'm the only one here. Really? He's probably going to be full after one more pass. I think this was the bundle I was working on. Alright. So, get the front down so that it rakes. And straightens them up. This one might be too many. Tips it down. Which way closes it? That closes it. I wonder if I could just close it while it's angled. Yeah, it's having a hissy fit. Oh, well, I'm not in the middle. Fail. That's a fail attempt on my part. The, uh, yeah, he's full again. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. See how the claws spring, bounce? I think that's what makes them not work very well. What are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. Yeah, stop it. Oh, we'll just go ahead and take this 98%. We don't need to finish filling it up. Oh, stop blinking at me. Um, we don't have... Yeah, we don't have the... Uh, loading wagon anymore. 
that's how we measured how much straw we had. I'm going to have to go lease that. Just so we can do our test. Well, who left that tractor over here in the way? Well, I wasn't thinking very good, was I? How we doing? Getting there. Getting there, getting there. Nobody in here? Nope, nobody's in there. The other item I have not used is the telehandler. I wonder if that might work for a, a loader. I don't think that grass is ready, is it? Well, I don't have it turned on. No, well, it is. It's in the first stage of harvestable. No, you don't have to back up a mile. You can just turn right around. And we're going to have our little dotted line left over from that narrow little piece. Can't wait till we get to the point where we have excess crops. But if the pigs start picking up speed in multiplying. All right, stop it. If the pigs pick up speed in multiplying, then that won't happen because I don't have enough excess crops at the moment. There's my dotted line. Morse code written in straw. Is that all of it? Are you done pooping? while we're over here I will scooch across and get rid of this header and grab the corn header since that's the direction we're going thing pooping out straw whenever it pleases again so I got two poopy puddles there
could make this corn a sugar beet field. That would be a lot of sugar beets for this little amount of pigs, though. Just for one harvest. I have to see how my corn's doing. And the last of it. There we go. And now we are in corn mode. <laughs> Again with the straw. Oh my goodness. Let me take this one little pass off the back end here. And then we will set him loose. And we will run into town and grab that loading wagon. All right. Yeah. Two little piles of straw. Unbelievable. Maybe I can scoop that up at the bucket. All right, red tractor's over here. I was playing around with that Trex tree grinder, stump grinder, and that kind of replaces that red one that I've got. If I do just buy, I think I will just buy it and keep it, and that'll be my stump grinder. Because you can just drive that around and make everything disappear. Rather than having to hook up to your tractor and fight it. Alright. Um, silliness, but what was I coming here? Oh, loader. Loader, loader wagon. Oh, isn't that under its own section? Yep, right there. Loading wagons. And all we need is the little, little cheapy guy. And we will lease that just to do our little test. We didn't have it still leased, did we? Oh, leased items. Over here. No, okay, good. That would have upset me just a little bit. I suppose I'll need to do a time lapse on this straw harvest. Let's see, we had a big puddle right here. We had a little puddle in the road. And we had two puddles up by the lean to there they are I can see them one right there one right there and now we'll back up and make sure they're not there and they are not there 201 from little poopy spots.
It's gonna hard, be hard to do a time lapse when he's over there doing corn and I have to hop off and do mess with corn. You know, I could have drove faster if I had to shut this thing off. My bad. All right, here we go. Knew that was coming. Wow, this piece of equipment we rented has 43.4 hours on it. Well, we're just going to have to pay a little excess to have him just sit there while I finish loading this load before I drive over there. We're almost done. It won't take too long. And yeet. And then full up. So there's 23,000. Oh, almost hit the bales. Alright, I think it was about here that I centered my last straw extravaganza. That's back far enough. And we're empty already. One hundred percent. I don't know. It just seems to me like, I don't know. I want to say I got, I think I had three and a half things of straw. This mound was huge. I may be mistaken. There we go. Back her up and she'll just start 
leveling off making us a mountain here we go if I remember right this is a much more controlled straw dump than I made the first time Fifteen six thirty. Two full ones and fifteen six thirty. And the corn is only going to get halfway. So, I think I have my field size ratio about right. Wheat barley field might be a little large. Or, I guess the corn might be a little small. Have you figured out whether or not it's better or worse? Wheat versus barley? I'm going to have to go back and look up my notes. I'll have to pause the video to do that. I don't see it here handy. Oh, there's wheat seeds. Okay. All right, I gotta help Mr. Corn Man here. Let him straddle the middle of this. Straighten up. There you go. Huh. I don't see. I think I might have forgot to write it down. Well, I am going to dump this and. Whoops. Raise that up so I can dry a little faster. I'm going to dump this and then I will cut so that I can. Great demand at barn. I suppose they want straw. Wouldn't that be special? And let's look and see. Nope. I don't have any silage. And that's not a very good price at all for silage. Well, for hard mode, maybe. 
Let me check my notes. Yeah, that is a very good price for silage. Uh, no, it isn't. 213 is what I've seen. All right, so I need to cut and check and see what the straw count was. I will be right back. Okay, I had to go back and watch the old video. It was episode 12 and a half. Um, two full loads and 15 545. So, two full loads and 15 630. I'm gonna say that's negligible. Uh, I might have had some loss on my wheat straw. So I'm gonna say it's the same. You get the same amount of straw whether it's wheat or barley. Let me know if you do a test and you find out something different. I would appreciate it. Speaking of a yeah, speaking of appreciating it, I would like to thank everyone who stayed to watch the entire video. Yeah, we're going to have to call it now. If you found it enjoyable, I would appreciate it if you would hit that like button. If you want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you'd like to leave a comment, you may do so below. With that said, I would like to wish everyone, including you, a very wonderful day. Goodbye for now.